Yeah, we're at uh, Linza Heide, Switzerland. Um, we here are on the first day track walk. Um, our main job here is to get suspension back into order. These guys have been out playing for over a month now since we've last seen them. So just a lot of uh, cleaning up and getting everything back race ready. Downhill stuff's pretty properly. Yeah, it's washed out. Definitely needs some service. We'll go through and do a whole uh, overhaul on it. We drop the lower legs, um, go through, open up the air side, um, get it all cleaned out, get it freshened up with new grease, new oil. Um, also go through, inspect the charger, make sure that it's not ingested any oils, make sure that it's still looking right, performing right, and uh, then put it back together. Uh, I'm in the commercial makeoff team. I'm working on the Miami Nicole bikes, actually. I mean, like we tried to come with the bike already done for the races and stuff. So the most part we change is the tires, you know, to get uh, to get adapted to the changes and conditions and everything. But then, like a part of this, like everything is pretty is pretty fine. Maybe some wheels, yeah, sometimes if you crack some, but uh, the rest is fine. This will be like this track will be like uh, pretty challenging. It's uh, super different. Like it's like it's really hard pack on some on some parts, pretty rocky also. So yeah, I'm sure we will struggle a bit with the suspension this this week, but uh, should be okay, I guess. Everybody is kind of on the same. Like uh, we try to adapt the bike to fit like uh, most of uh, most most of people and most of riders and conditions. So now we are, are at it. So it's, uh, it's pretty much the same for everyone. Maybe it's, yeah, geometry wise and. It's, it's a bit different, but no, the, the kinematic is pretty much the same. I guess what's the most uh, frequently changed part that you need to swap out? Tires and chain and pads. They're your wearables, I think. I mean, we don't like touch wood and testament to the sponsor kit. We we don't really break that much stuff, um, like wheels, all that kind of stuff. We have quite a good build and setup, so we we tend not to break or damage stuff unless it's a crash or anything like that but you know grips um, we replace the chain just because we want to change the chain and brake pads and that kind of stuff I mean this bike's not having all brake it's got a brand new mech on but the crank was from Lear Gang um, brakes were from Lear Gang all that kind of stuff so I mean we don't yeah we don't really break that much stuff Uh, so we've got, it's called an Argo tile by Continental. Um, it's an intermediate tile, so like really good for loose dirt and kind of semi-wet conditions without being too boggy and deep mud. So hopefully it should be pretty good today or tomorrow even on the fresh track that we've got here. Um, well, there's a lot of kind of fresh sections here, so hopefully it will dig into that kind of fresh dirt a bit better. And Bernie was riding it in Morjan's the last couple of days and it didn't seem to kind of fold over too much like a lot of intermediate tires. It still kind of had a lot of support, so Fingers crossed it'll be good. Hey Mark Morrison, Morzine Control. Morzine Control. Tell me, tell me what's happening. You sent the kids to Morzine and they ride a lot and they wash the bike a lot, and then they ride even more, and then they wash it again. And then I get to work on it, it's great. Yeah, you know, free up all the bearings, headsets, replace brake pads, the rotors changed color. Uh, yeah, not much rubber left. It's good, it's nice to see how they look after it. What are you doing here? Servicing this King Hub. She's been at home with Nina for a couple of weeks, so as you can see, she needs a bit of a freshener. 
pretty much run some like some speed oil in it. But, yeah, look at that, it's filthy. Well, that stuff makes it run nice and fast. Oh, damn it. She's in. Job done. Job is done, John. She's in. Pop that on. That. There we go. Fast. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, just getting a little frame J for the week. Pressing up the bike. Pull everything off. Full inspection. Um, we can do pretty deep inspections, just because they're prototypes, handmade, uh, so it's good to check all of it. And then it gives us an opportunity to get down in the nooks and crannies deep, and then replace any bearings, freshen stuff up. We did pretty big mud race in Leo Gang a couple weeks ago, and then the guys pretty much took their bikes and thrashed them for two more, almost three more weeks. Um, so they're in dire need of some love. So it's all, all new stuff, freshen suspension up, all the new bearings, bottom bracket, cables, housing, any parts that are damaged. And then um, they're all aluminum, so I take a little scotch bright and as you can see. Apparently this is called knolling. <laughs> yeah, I it's thought it's, it was just called organization. Is this fairly typical? Um, I would like to think so. I hope it's typical. Um, for me it is, but like I get a lot of my inspiration from all the moto dudes, so. This is nothing on those guys. They like lay out like red towels and all their titanium gets refreshed and tumbled and shiny again and laid all out and then back on. So those guys do like road builds too. So like in between races, if they don't go home, there's they got to do, a, you know, build after the race and then put them on the truck and so the truck can get to the next round. So it's kind of like a road build. You just break everything down, refresh it, send it down the hill. Fresh grip, smaller. It's the best thing ever, isn't it? Man, get the like the mold release residue. So like after like a good wash or just some soap and water and scrub them and dry them. It's all sticky. Get that. Urgh.